YouTube, what is up? It's your boy Koozie and welcome back to Phasmophobia. Today we are starting a complete Phasmophobia equipment series. So what I wanna do is I wanna break down every single piece of equipment in the game, showing you how it works, how to use it, some secret tips and tricks you might need to know about that specific piece of equipment. So for the first episode, we're gonna start at the top of the list here and cover the DOTS projector. DOTS is an acronym for Detector of the Supernatural. It's a pretty cool little acronym, but what it does is it basically just spins or sends like a spectrum of dots into the uh, into the ether here. If the ghost interacts with it and it has dots as its evidence, it will show up as like a silhouette or like an outline. It kind of looks like a 3D model. It's actually really cool. So with the tier one, I don't think we're going to do a contract with the tier one, but I do want to show you guys how to use this. So first of all, you got to have it in your hand. Obviously, I don't think I have to dumb it down that much, but uh, you just right click to turn it on or whatever your, your key bind is for that. And then to set it down, uh, you can drop it, but if you really wanna have control over it, you wanna have it in your hand and then press the place key, which is, uh, for me it's C, I think default it's F. And then you have this holographic model while holding that button that you can then turn it to however you want it. And then once you get the, the hologram lined up how you want it, you just let go. Um, and in some cases, it'll fall through the fucking map. Where's my dots projector? What the hell? All right, we were able to pick it up. Okay, so let's try this table. <laughs> okay, plan B. So yeah, I'm holding place, and then voila. And then if you have a second one uh, with the stylus, the tier one, what we have here, uh, you can set up another one, but this is about all you get. You just get a circle. And obviously you can set it up in a bigger area to get a little bit more. So like, for instance, I'll try to cover the, the dining room here. You can place it further back for more coverage, but even then it's still not that great. So let's go get the tier two now and I'll show you guys the ghosts that require dots evidence. Okay, so we're back on Tanglewood here. I had to go get my tier two dots and uh, the tier two dots look like this and they're a little bit different. So it's it's obviously much bigger. It's different because it's not a stylus and you can place it in a couple different ways. You can actually place this on the wall and it, it's unlike the tier one where you had to turn it on in your hand, the tier two turns on by placing it. So you can place it on a wall, but you see how it's like flat, right? And it doesn't really do that well. The shop even says when you go to buy it, It'll even say the best results are whenever you place it on the ground. I like it because it's also somewhat of an area light. Now what I'm gonna do is let's walk through the ghosts that require the evidence, all right? Because there's one specific ghost that has evidence of dots that you have to know a specific secret about it. So if you go in your journal and you just select dots, these are all of the ghosts that require dots as their evidence. The only ghost that has a special case with the dots is the Gorio. The Gorio dots, you cannot see if one, you were in the ghost room and B, you can't see it with your naked eye. This is where you would need a video cam to see the Gorio dots. There's two ways you can go about it. If you're playing by yourself, you can set up the, the camera on a tripod or what you could do is if you're feeling a little bit more brave, you can set up the dots in the ghost room. If the ghost room is something like this and not really like an open room, like the, the dining room and kitchen, like on Tanglewood here. But if it's something like the utility room or any like closed off room, like the garage or whatever, uh, you can set up the dots right here and then just stand right out here, just outside of the ghost room with your camera pointing towards the ghost room and then be looking for the dots. If it shows up on the camera, but you look up and you don't see it happening with your player's naked eye, then you know for a fact it's 100% Agorio. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go get the tier three so I can show you just how good the tier three is. All right, so we are back with our tier three dots now, and this right here, baby, is the best of the best, all right? The cream of the crop for the dots projectors. So with the tier three dots, contrary to the tier two, you can set this on the floor. It's just like the tier two where it will turn on once you place it, but you can go up to it and just like click it to turn it off. Same with the tier two. I'm, I forgot to mention that earlier, but it will it will work on the floor, but the tier three actually works better if you place it on the wall. Okay. And the cool thing about this is instead of being static like the other two tiers, it actually scans the ghost or scans the room for the ghost. So it's really neat. 
The ghost is touching things over there. This is I just started this contract, so it's a pretty aggressive ghost. So that means we're probably going to be hunted. But one thing I want to show you before we die from the ghost killing us uh, is I want to show you a mechanic that might work uh on the basement here if not we can just jump to another map real quick but okay so it's not gonna work so we're gonna have to jump to a map real quick that has an upstairs so i can show you the ceiling dots mechanic okay so i had to come to a map that has an upstairs because with the ceiling dots all you gotta do is just make sure you have like a floor above you so on tanglewood it doesn't work if you're in the basement even though you technically have a floor above you but if you're on like any of the farmhouses or we're on uh i think this is edgefield right now uh you can walk in and any room that has a floor above you can act like you're gonna place it and look how cracked this is bro hold on i'm gonna put it in the living room watch watch we're gonna put it in the dead center and now the whole fucking room is covered in dots this is why i'm saying tier three is cream of the crop man this is like this is no question now granted unfortunately it is tier three so you have to level up but that's why you got to check out my fast leveling strategy guide where i cover the camp woodwind strategy where you can go in with no equipment whatsoever and level up super fast so i hope this guide was helpful um so speaking of my xp leveling guide if you want to level up and get the tier three dots as fast as you can you can either click this video right here or click this playlist right here to see the next episode of the phasmophobia equipment guide series thing okay <laughs> i'll catch you in the next one all right